Hey guys, you're watching blastaway.eu and today's video is about Kurome. So in the past when you wanted to integrate a second firing blaster, you would usually go for a um, um, under barrel um, integration or like master key, what a lot of people like to call it or um, a Manta modification, which is uh, flipping um, the same blaster um, like to the bottom and having like um, your pinky firing the uh, bottom blaster, like uh, that guy in the back here. And um, what I did with um, uh, this one is um, what I call it um, a cross integration, which is um, basically uh, integrating the second blaster also down at the handle but facing the other direction while this one is actually the second one and uh, the first one was the uh, sledge fire and uh, messenger um, integration for this one i've used a rebel uh, rapid red and a rebel uh, spy light blaster and actually what i found is that uh, for these kind of um, cross integrations uh, the best thing that you can have is uh, like um, the handle being um, in this uh, angled um, fashion um, because uh, if it would go like straight down like maybe other um, uh, blasters this would be like more cramped up and uh, like this it feels really nice and actually also I think in terms of looks looks kind of um, neat and uh, cool. The spy light is basically stuck and the uh, rapid red has the um, uh, basic modifications like uh, all the locks removed and uh, this one runs on uh, three upgrade batteries and one dummy battery. So apart from the setup I think it's um, the uh, paint job which uh, really stands out uh, with this blaster and um, basically what I did is like uh, I did a um, like base coat and um, then I wrapped it like just the top parts because you can just uh, take them apart and uh, wrap them um, with uh, some stockings. And um, here I have a little leftover. And um, what you basically do is when you have like your uh, plastic piece, you just wrap the stockings around and uh, like stretch it a little bit so you can get like the, um, the holes to um, like to get like the paint to uh, pass through. And uh, also, of course, depending on the stockings, you can like go for different patterns. And what you really need is that the um, uh, dark parts are like kind of uh, webbed like really um, tightly. I don't know how to say that. And uh, you have like those uh, bigger holes like in, uh, um, in contrast, okay? So that's basically how I did this paint job. And uh, I think it turned out really well. Um, and now into some firing. I just realized that this, uh, it's really inaccurate, but um, I don't know if it's because of the darks, but um, yeah. And uh, like the Izanagi, when you run out, you just turn it over. And have like another six shots with the uh, spy light. So that's it for the overview. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know what you think and uh, I see you next week.